Aaron Donald, one of the best defensive tackles ever in the National Football League. And uh, I know our next guest is probably happy as a, a offensive lineman in the National <laughs> Football League, left tackle for the Buffalo Bills. Deion Dawkins join us. Deion, uh, just your reaction, Deion, man, when you hear that Aaron Donald uh, retiring from the National Football League, your thoughts as a as a, in a as a current player? You know what? Uh, my thoughts go all over the place, brother. Uh, I'm sitting here with uh, AJ Evanessa, <laughs> and uh, he just broke out the uh, news, which he just gave the uh, the head nod, and he said uh, AD uh, retired, and I was like, man, I kind of knew it was gonna happen because like. Eventually, like, who wants to get triple team and double team <laughs> right. over and over and over and over and over, man? Like, does nobody want to get triple team and double team for years and years and years and years? Like, uh, so, but either way, uh, great player. Um, as a competitor, I would have loved to compete against him at least one or two more times. Wow. But, um, you know, the interior guys definitely just got a large chip off of their shoulder because i know there was some guys that are looking at their teams they're like all right we got to play aaron donald twice a year right. and now he's out so um a lot of guys just took a nice little sit back in their chair and went oh. uh. but <laughs> you, you know it's all good man. What, what about your interactions with aaron donald because a couple years ago yeah. we know the buffalo bills came into los angeles and kicked the door in to start the season <laughs> and yeah, we thought the Bills I, were going straight to the Super Bowl that year but you <laughs> your interactions with him on the field yeah uh it's been it's been good um like I don't have too much uh like conversation with with AD but um playing wise the respect is there which is mm -hmm. all I can ask for and uh he's made a lot of good and good plays against our team and um as a competitor you know, it's it's an honor to be able to be on the football field with, with guys like that and to compete and a game plan against. And even like he's an interior guy, but yeah. when even when he comes out over the, the tackle, like I'm like, all right, here we go. I got to make sure everything is on point because here comes right. like AD. But um, the interactions like have been cool, neutral, calm and uh, and good, you know, as a competitive standpoint, you know, yeah. never been left never been right he's always been super straight and i respect it so dion you know i got a bone to pick with you Talk because in a week in which nfl news is coming from left and right north south east and west <laughs> dion dawkins decides to send a tweet out <laughs> an x out whatever it is talking about <laughs> it's was good while it lasted buffalo excited for this next chapter of my football career Wonder if it's okay to eat ranch now. So let's just start with the first part. Ranch now. Soon as I saw that, I said, "Come on, I'm literally about to call the people in Buffalo. Like, what are y'all doing? First of all, and I'm like, how? Like, why? You? And then all of a sudden, right at, and I start texting people. Like, is this real? Like, why would they do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then all of a sudden you say, I'm just joking. Like, how could you play with so many e people's emotions, man? I would never leave Buffalo. I'm never leaving. I'm a, I'm Buffalo for life. Why give us this emotional roller coaster, Dion? You know, because <laughs> when it comes down to it, we're entertainers, man. <laughs> and and I enjoy to entertain. Yeah. as well as I enjoy to play the game. Um, certain things I find funny. And <laughs> for the people that believe that, yeah, it just shows that people really don't be listening when you talk. Because in every interview and everything that I speak about, I speak about Buffalo and how I would never leave. So for y'all to think that I would turn my back on you is crazy. So I'm like, look, let's, let's test their loyalty. Let's see... Let's see where, let's see how they really feel. So um, I took it there and I, you know, kept it to where it is. I got and, you. <laughs> you know, it's it's just a little laugh, but entertainment is entertainment. Well, I thought it was funny. <laughs> 
It was funny uh, because it had everybody going, and it was like, wow, because you got to think, all these insiders are like, how does he know something that we don't know? And I'm like, this is the actual player. Like, he's going to know. Right. But you were rewarded with a three-year extension as well. You go into that final year of the contract, and I know a lot of players are like, man, what's going to happen? And they decide, you know what? We don't even worry about this last year. We're going to extend you another year. Congratulations on the new deal. Uh, I, I know you're happy that you got extended. And now the Buffalo Bills making some news, obviously with their signings and their pickups now. But what's now the outlook so far this offseason, having signed that new deal and where the team is heading? Yeah, um, well, number one, as a leader and as a player, uh, I'm happy about the deal that I signed because it, it leaves room for my teammates and for us to build a Super Bowl team. Mm -hmm. Um it comes to my heart of doing my part and uh, doing in my job. And with the picks that we're getting and the picks that are in there and the moving around that's that's going, it's definitely eye-opening. It's like, wow, like right. what Poyer's gone, what uh, Saran is gone, what Trey is gone, what Mitch is gone, what? It's just like, wow. But, you know, in this league, it's, it's a chess game. Yeah. And the pieces are always going to move. And I think that it's the saddest thing of this league that you build re relationships over a short period of time with, with guys. Um, the NFL, it sucks, but for a lot of people, it's it's not for long. And, you know, like I was with Mitch for five years, and those five years seemed like yeah. forever, but now those five years have come to a an end. But... Uh, I trust in my organization. I trust in Bean. I trust in McDermott. I trust in uh in my teammates and I trust in the people that have to do their job. Um, I don't ever want to question Bean and what are you doing? Like, why'd you cut this guy or why'd you let him him go? That was a big mistake. I'm not a GM. I am a left tackle. Um, I do my part off of the football field, uh, because that's where at my heart is, and I'm gonna do my job, which is to protect the 17, and I'm gonna do it to the best that I can do. But uh, I don't question Bean, man. Um, mm -hmm. I think that Bean knows exactly what he's doing, as well as McDermott, as well as Pagula. So uh, I trust in it. They're going to keep the right guys here to give us just that chance to be in a position to win, which it seems like we're in every year. And we just got to overly kick that door in and, uh, and get over that hump. But, uh, you, you know, those guys do what they do. And I'm proud of them. Yeah, Deion Dawkins, left tackle for the uh, Buffalo Bills. So you said protecting 17, but you protect your chicken wings away from ranch. Why is that? Are you not a oh, ranch guy? Funny. Are you only blue <laughs> cheese oh, and barbecue? Man. Like, you protecting the quarterback. How you protect the wings from the ranch? I'm not a ranch guy either, but I always right. want to know your perspective because I know that maybe in Buffalo, the home of the Buffalo Wings and Anchor Bar and, and all the other spots that I've been to. What Bar is Bill. the Yeah, there you go. So no ranch for you, no ranch for you, huh? Yeah, listen. Um, now I'm a now I, now I can't say it was never never ranch, right? Right. Before I got to Buffalo, it was definitely blue cheese. With sometimes I might have ranch on my plate <laughs> to dip my fries in. But when you get to Buffalo and you sign that deal at Buffalo, yeah, ranch is out of the picture. Simple as that. It's either you're on board or you're not. We eat blue cheese in Buffalo. The blue cheese in Buffalo is different from the blue cheese in Carolina, Texas, California, Arizona. It's different. Like our blue cheese, I you can think about it as nasty. They make it. They make their own <laughs> blue cheese. And uh, I love it. It's good. It goes good with the wings. And it's crazy because almost every restaurant there, the blue cheese tastes different. So when you go to Barbell, their blue cheese is is a hint different from Mulberries and from La Nova's and from and from Ilios. Like everybody's blue Ooh. cheese has a, a different hint. But I'm a big boy. So I definitely I'm just taste saying like you just my you sauces. just you just broke I, down I my like, you just broke down blue cheese dressing in like five different ways. Like this one Talk has a hint it. of this. This one has a hint of this. Like <laughs> this one got more chunks. This one don't got no chunks. <laughs> This one's just a little bit more runny. This one's a little bit more thick. So, hey, man, it's uh, it's the truth. And when you're a big boy and you've been there for eight years, uh, you tend to have touched every spot that has a stove. So I've definitely touched every spot that has a stove and an oven. And uh, that blue cheese is definitely king over ranch. <laughs>
Man, Dion, man, always a treat, man, to see you, brother. You oh, look man. good this offseason. I can't wait. Congratulations on the new deal. And uh, enjoy the rest of the offseason, brother, and look forward to seeing you down the line. Man, thank you, bro. It's always an honor whenever we get together. You're definitely a king in this <laughs> world, and uh, and I appreciate you, bro. I really and really do. So keep doing what you're doing for guys and at, and at me that have one day to inspire to doing what you do and to be in the role that you're in. It's an honor. So uh, I take it with all respect and all love that you even had the honor to, to or I even had the honor to speak to you. So I appreciate you. See you soon. So I love. You got it, brother. Appreciate it. That's Deion brother. Dawkins, everybody. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.